This quick guide is not a full owner's manual. Please read the owner's manual in full before using the X9 Follow for the first time. There is important information in the owner's manual regarding use and care of the product. Download the full owner's manual from stuartgolf.com. The X9 has three modes of operation. Manual operation, remote control, follow. Choose whichever mode suits your circumstance on the golf course. Do not try to use follow in every situation. It is designed primarily for use on the fairway. Connecting Bluetooth. With the main battery connected, switch the X9 to the on position. The blue LED will flash. Press the Bluetooth on off button for three seconds. When both blue lights stop flashing, the connection is made. Manual operation. Hold the handset in one hand and the trolley with the other. Start the X9 follow moving by pressing forward one or two. To turn the trolley, apply downward pressure on the handle to lift the front wheels and then steer. Stop the trolley using either stop or glide stop buttons. How to handle curbs. Press down on the handle to lift the front wheels onto the curb. If the rear wheels spin, apply forward pressure until the wheels find traction. Do not lift from the handle. Remote control. Practice with all functions in an open area with a full golf bag. One and two are cruise control speeds that can be programmed to your own walking pace. Press forward one or two to start the trolley moving. Slow it down using the slow down slash reverse button. Steer it left or right using the direction buttons. Follow. Press follow with the handset within 50 centimeters directly in front of the trolley. Slowly walk away and clip the handset to your belt. As you walk, slow down, stop and start again. The follow system adjusts its speed to match yours. The effect is that of a digital elastic band, stretching and contracting as you move. When you reach your ball and stop, place the handset on the cradle. The X9 will not move. After playing your shot, replace your club, clip the handset back onto your back pocket or belt and resume walking. At the green, switch to remote control by pressing forward 1 or 2. Use the left or right buttons to direct the X9 to the next tee. To turn off follow mode, press the red stop button. Follow. Common errors. If you hold the handset in your hand, the swinging motion of your arm may force the X9 to speed up and slow down. You must engage the follow inside the neutral zone or one meter from the trolley. Walking in the opposite direction means that you will be out of the active zone before the X9 can react to you. We recommend to use a cart or tour bag filled to a maximum weight of 15 kilograms, distributed evenly. If a bag is too light or top heavy, then the trolley may react faster than designed and become erratic. Steering modes. Normal steering is the default setting and can always be restored by pressing the stop button. In glide steering mode, the trolley moves much more gently and is designed for use with very light bags only. To activate it, press the orange glide stop button and then start the trolley moving forwards within three seconds. Normal steering. Glide steering. Steering is noticeably slower in this mode. If you activate glide steering and then follow mode, the trolley will glide to a stop and may collide with you. This quick guide is not a full owner's manual. 
please read the owner's manual in full before using the X9 Follow for the first time. There is important information in the owner's manual regarding use and care of the product. Download the full owner's manual from stuartgolf.com.